AliExpress, a website known only for the impeccable quality of their products. <laughs> I buy a lot of shit on AliExpress, and over the past few months, they kept recommending me more gadgets for guitar players. I've compiled six of my absolute least favorites here. <laughs> So I'll start with the most expensive product and slowly progress towards the cheapest. It gets pretty rancid pretty quick. First up, I'm still not sure what it's supposed to do. It, it, it has no product description, and, uh, no manual or anything. Product title is Guitar Tone Completer Sound Opener Simulates the Vibration of Actual Play. So I'm not entirely sure what this is, but I think I've got a pretty good guess. Uh, in essence, it's this little box with like rubber knobs at the end. So is this meant for acoustic guitars by the way, because you need to sort of break in your strings, especially with acoustic instruments, for them to sound their best. So you stick it on your guitar and you twist this little knob uh, and you'll see it'll start vibrating. What I think, that, and yes, the vibration gets pretty fucking aggressive. Uh, what I think this is supposed to do is simulate the effect that actual playing has on your guitar strings to break them in for you uh, while you're going for a piss, which I don't support this. Um, just play the instrument for fuck's sake, shut up. So while I already do not support the concept of this, which is replacing actual playing with way too strong vibration motors so you can break in your strings while you're having a nap. I haven't actually tested it yet, like with an actual new set of strings and tested the before and after. I have a bad feeling that it's gonna make absolutely jack shit difference, uh, but there's only one way to find out. <laughs> So, what rating do I give the hand poon sound tone? Nothing out of out of uh, nothing. This is not on the scale. Play your f***ing guitar. Don't buy something like this. I don't know, just let this run for half an hour and think your strings are broken in now. You need to actually play them for there to be any effect. I will find great pleasure in letting this thing meet its maker. <laughs> Up next is the Joyo JA01 Mini Guitar Amplifier Electric Guitar Headphone Amp Built-in Clean Distortion Effect Portable Guitar Accessories for 12 euro and 67 cents. I need to open up a Patreon. <laughs> the first thing that caught my eye in this box is this empty slot, which I can pretty accurately tell by the little knobs down here. It was originally when this was sold in guitar stores because Joyo is a genuine like pedal and amplifier brand supposed to accommodate a nine volt battery, a thing that AliExpress did not want me to have. But what they have generously supplied me with are the world's most cheap and rancid looking earbuds. So let's check out some of the features, shall we? Mini guitar amplifier, period. Clean and distortion, Frontians. Unlike our first product, this is fairly self-explanatory, so let's give it a listen.
Would you believe that for 12 euro and 67 cents, you cannot get decent analog sound out of a guitar? <laughs> QC pass number seven. Who the f let this thing pass quality control? <laughs> On a more serious note, while this is genuinely garbage, it's only because the speaker is so tiny that it distorts with essentially every note you play, but you have to commend them for giving you something like an aux input so you can theoretically jam along to your favorite songs if you could hear both things at the same time without the speaker absolutely frying itself. <laughs> Up next, and yes, this is how I received it, made in China, don't worry, we can tell, is the Guitar Capo Capo Taste Acoustic Electric Guitar Etc. Simple and easy to use for five euro and four cents. We're getting pretty cheap already. So clearly what this is, is just the Aliexpressified version of the Creative Tuning Spider Capo. A product that's actually quite ingenious, as it essentially allows you to put the equivalent of a capo on individual strings on your guitar on one fret. However, in its original rendition, we'll also set you back 28 euro. And while this does look strikingly similar to the real thing, to the point where I actually thought while unboxing it that it was, the thing that gives it away are these little ball ends on the top of the spikes that the actual Creative Tunings one does not have. So since I know this product, or at least the product that this is shamelessly pretending to be, I actually know what to do with it and I can give it a try. This may be the worst thing that I have ever purchased. You could get this and use it about twice before something or other breaks off of it. It genuinely took me about 10 minutes to get it onto a guitar in a position where there was no fret buzz or anything. Meet my baseball bat. Our fourth product is the Guitar Hand Finger Exerciser Medium Tension Grip Power Trainer for Guitars Based Piano SAL99 for 4 euro and 34 cents. Would you look at that graphic they put in here. Now this is a fairly easy to understand product. There is a tutorial video in the AliExpress product page if you're too stupid to figure it out. You grab it and you squeeze it and it's supposed to make your fingers stronger, slimmer, some shit. It's supposed to help you play guitar better. I did actually use this thing the other day while watching Netflix for like 10 or 15 minutes. This is no good. This will do the opposite of what it promises to do, which is make you be able to play faster. It will make you be able to play slower because I'm convinced that this will give you arthritis. <laughs> I mean, they cushioned the buttons real nicely and it has a nice ergonomic shape and comes in a variety of nice colors, but that doesn't change the arthritis thing. Into the bin it goes. <laughs> Our fifth product of the night is the Guitar Picks Holder Finger Cover Folk Acoustic Guitar Auxiliary Artifact Strumming Electric Guitar Non-Slip Storage Cover for $2.59. And this is the first product of the night that I can actually see myself genuinely using. And it's our second cheapest one. It comes in this beautiful little plastic storage case. And what it does is it basically allows you to switch from finger picking to pick picking very smoothly. <laughs> It's this little rubber ring you put around your index finger that holds your pick and points in one direction. When you hold the pick, you basically bend it in the opposite direction so that when you let go of it, it bounces right back into place and lets you use your fingers for picking. This is much easier than switching the pick from your fingers to your palm and then you're on the risk of dropping it while playing. For an acoustic guitar strumming slash finger picking application, I give this a genuine 10 out of 10. This is the only product out of the ones we've had so far that I'm not going to destroy but instead keep and maybe actually use for something in the future. Zoom. The final product is something that I bought in my naivete assuming 
that it was applicable for guitar amp purposes. It is the DIY More 6J1 Preamp Electron Vacuum Tube 7 pin for audio amplifier tube. However, when comparing it size-wise to the preamp tube that's inside my orange microdark hybrid amplifier, it's small. In fact, it tiny. Maybe I just don't know my shit about tubes or it genuinely didn't say anything about what type of tube it was or if it was applicable for guitar amplifiers in the product description, but uh, yeah, who, who cares? I'm just gonna fucking break it. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I do have a sequel planned for this video and a few more products on the way, but I thought six was a nice round number for one video. You can watch my video where I demoed the world's cheapest pickups, partially bought from AliExpress, somewhere up here. You can subscribe somewhere down there if you feel like it. All my social media, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter's in the description. You'll also find the links for all of these products in the description. Uh, I don't know, like, subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you next week.